So let me introduce Fernando again. I'm very happy to introduce you. Um, and Fernando is going to speak about the formations of exterior differential ideas and applications. Fernando. Okay, okay. Uh, thank you, Alicia, and, and thanks, Vania, uh, Jesus, and all the other uh, organizers for organizing such, a, such an interesting international seminar. And uh, well, it's nice to see several friends here. I see, I see Ragni now, and I see, well, Jorge, Israel, Carolina. Who else? Well, it's, it's, it's very nice to see you all here. Um, okay, so let me let me start. Um, so um, so we are uh, with Cesar with Cesar Masri. We are working out the the formation theory of exterior differential ideals and um, applications the the formation theory to to stability, irreducible components, and so on. We are uh, motivated by the problem of um, irreducible components of spaces of foliations. Uh, so uh, the plan of my talk is, is here. So I, I will say a few words about the problem of irreducible components of modular spaces of foliations for people who don't work in this area. Uh, then uh, we'll move to... Um, exterior differential ideals, which are related to foliations. It's not exactly the same thing, but they are uh, uh, closely, closely related. And uh, the same problem of irreducible components for such objects. Uh, so then we, we will um, explain the first, uh, uh, the basic stuff on the formations of exterior differential ideals, which is uh, very similar to to the, the, the formation theory of other uh, well-known objects uh, in algebraic geometry. But this situation is, we didn't find it explicitly in the, in the literature, so we had to work, work it out. Uh, it's not difficult, but it took us a long time, but it's not difficult. So let me, let me re, uh, I, I will review that, uh, how it works, but it's very similar to the, to the usual, uh, well, uh, the formation theory of other things. Then we will, uh, so th there will be some tangent spaces, infinitesimal um, calculations in this context. So I will discuss some uh, tools and some results on the termination of, of the tangent spaces H0 and X1 in this, uh, in this situation. Um, and then uh, once we, we, we have such uh, calculations, uh, we will try to um, deduce some applications, mainly to the stability of some spe specific types of um, exterior differential ideas, like uh, various kinds of uh, FAF ideals and pullback ideals. I'll, I'll explain this later. Okay, so this is working collaboration with, with Cesar. Must be. Okay, so let me, uh, as I said, let me start reviewing uh, a, a very few things about uh, modular spaces of foliations and the problem of irreducible components. So we start in a, in a smooth projective algebraic variety over the complex numbers, uh, just to be specific. And we have a, we fix a line bundle on X, and we will talk about uh, a twisted differential forms, which are uh, one forms twisted by L, and we consider this uh, set F. Uh, I denoted F F by foliation uh, F foliations of X um, of degree L. So this is a sub sub collection of all the twisted one forms, which are uh, the the ones that satisfy the Frobenius integrability condition. So so this is the modular space of Integral, integrable one forms uh, is a sub is a um, is a projective algebraic variety defined by many quadratic equations inside this big projective space. Okay. In a similar way, uh, one defines the modular space of integrable Q forms, 
And the main problem is to study the geometry of these varieties. Uh, in particular, the problem of the, the, determining its, uh, the, uh, the irreducible components of this, of this variety. So irreducible component, from the point of view of qualitative theory of differential equations, it, is, it will be type of types of uh, differential equations, mo modulo deformation, mo modulo moving parameters, okay? So from the point of view of the applications to physics, let's say, it, 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 that, that would be a motivation for studying this problem of irreducible components, okay? Um, in the specific case where our variety is projected space, our line bundle is OOD, our, our, our one form is simply written in this uh, usual way, with the coefficients are homogeneous polynomials of degree d minus one, I use this notation for the degree. I'm talking about the degree of, as, a, as a differential form. So the dx, dxi have degree one. So the total degree is d. And that means that, that such, a, such an omega will define um, a global section of omega one twisted by d if uh, omega satisfies the um, uh, the in the um, condition that the um, contraction with the radial or Euler vector field is zero. So the Euler, uh, Euler the usual Euler sequence is, says exactly that um, the global sections of this sheath are the are the, exactly the one forms of this type satisfying this condition. Okay. In this particular case, the moduli space, we just denoted F and D, so uh, forms in Pn of degree D. Let me just uh, here write down what, what I mean by the singular set of uh, form omega. It's just the, um, the locus of uh, vanishing of all the coefficients of omega, okay? Uh, one example, which is important in, in all this, uh, one example of, log of um, integrable forms is the logarithmic one forms. The log logarithmic one forms are uh, the, fo the forms omega, which are written like this as usual sections of omega one log D, so what is usually known as logarithmic forms. But here we multiply by um, F, F is the product of all the, all, all the poles, all the FIs, so we, we make it a polynomial one form, but we still call it a logarithmic uh, um, one form, okay? Uh, the type, the type uh, of the form is the, the collection of the degrees of the FIs, okay? So when we fix the type, we fix the, the number of uh, FIs and, the, and their degrees. And um, what happens is that when we fix the type and, and move all the FIs and all the lambdas, uh, we obtain uh, an irreducible component of the, of the space of foliation. So that would be, we call it like this. This is the logarithmic component in PN or uh, forms of type uh, D, okay? Uh, it's, a, it's, it's a theorem of Omega Calvo that this is uh, actually, uh, 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 these forms uh, fill out a component, okay? It's easy to see that these forms are integrable and that this, they, and they constitute an irredu irreducible family, this is clear, but the, the result is that they fill out a component, okay? Uh, so this is one important example of uh, components. Uh, there are other irreducible components of the space of foliations of, of, of dimension Q. Let me just mention quickly a couple of them. The foliations uh, with, uh, whose leaves are the fibers of a rational map from PN to PQ, or the, what is called the linear pullback of foliations. We, we take a projection, a linear projection from, from a center um, from Pn to P2, and we pull back any 
eta, which is a one form of degree D in D2. So such an omega like this is clearly is clearly integrable. Oh, I, I guess you are you are hearing some dogs in the neighborhood. Sorry about that. I don't know. I don't know what what to how to convince them to stop. They, they, they will get quiet. In, yeah. Okay. They are not mine. Okay. So. <laughs> um, okay. So uh, in this way, varying pi and varying eta, we have an irreducible family of foliations in Pn of uh, of integrable forms in Pn. And the, uh, the, there is a theorem saying that this again constitutes an irreducible component. Okay, so this is the linear pullback component. Also, if you take a group actions, a linear group actions in Pn, uh, you have the foliation uh, or singular foliation uh, whose leaves are the orbits of, of such a group action. And um, in some situations, this um, define irreducible components. If this happens, for example, when the group is, uh, um, when you consider um, a, a representation, irreducible representation of, of some semi simple group, uh, then you have. Um, a component. It's a, it's, a, it's a rigid component. So it's um, it's just, yeah, it's a rigid component, but this has, these are examples of components. And there are a few others. Um, I, I, this, this gives you an idea of, of the constructions. Um, there is a famous paper by Servo and Liz Neto where, where there is a review of, of the components known at, at, uh, at that time. And there is um, a nice um, survey by Linz Neto, 2007, where you can find um, more information about what is known about the components, okay? But uh, let me advance to our topic now. So um, I will move now from uh, foliations to the, the related, related objects, which are um, exterior differential ideals and exterior differential modules. So let, let me quickly go through uh, the basic stuff on this. So we, we take a, a smooth algebraic uh, variety, let's say over C, and the sheaf of, uh, uh, of exterior differential forms is a sheaf of differential graded algebras. Uh, 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 by this notation, omega sharp module will be a um, graded module over this graded algebra where each graded component is a coherent, a coherent sheaf over O, and is may, only many, uh, finite, finitely many of them are non-zero. So morphisms are the usual morphisms of degree zero or for graded, graded modules. Uh, and omega module will be the same object, but provide is a differential graded uh, omega module. So we have also a differential in, in um, so it's a complex, um, and this is a differential operator of order less than or equal to one. Morphisms are uh, the same as before, but uh, commuting with D. And uh, this category is, is an abelian category with an, enough injective. This was used by Herrera Lieberman in a famous paper on duality. So this is the category that we will consider, okay? Uh, category of, uh, um, Differential graded uh, modules over the um, exterior algebra. Okay, so when I put the sharp, it means that I'm not worrying about the, the derivative. Okay, so this is kind of linear algebra. This is kind of differential algebra. So this is more difficult in a, in a way. So uh, okay, um, let, let's continue. So the, the, uh, we have these inclusions on, on the set of morphisms. So uh, we have all the linear morphisms, the morphisms that preserve the structure of omega algebra and the morphisms that commute with the, with the exterior derivative, okay? So we have these inclusions. 
And, and it will be interesting for us, important also to, to compare these three things, okay? So also we can define uh, when we have a, a, a graded modules over, over the serial algebra, we can uh, uh, consider morphisms that increase the degree by, by R. And in this way, the set of um, morphisms is a direct sum according to the degree, okay? Uh, in this, in this, in this um, space, we also have a, a differential defined in, in this standard way. So we have, uh, it's an internal uh, home. Um, so this, so this, this again is a, this is a, an omega module or an omega sharp module, okay? The set of morphisms has, a, has the same structure. And considering this, we have the following exact sequence. So the, this, this is uh, uh, just by the definitions, the morphisms that commute with D are exactly the kernel of the exterior derivative from here to here. So this is kind of a first step which uh, will allow us to compare a home over omega sharp and home over omega, okay? So we have this, this sequence. Okay. So the, all this, uh, what I said before is for uh, modules. Now let's restrict our attention to ideals. So the same definitions, uh, an ideal is just a, a, a well, it's a, it's a module uh, co contained, it's a submodule of the algebra. Okay, and we consider well a, 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 um, graded a, a sheaf of ideals uh, which are close under the exterior derivative, and we want to study the infinitesimal deformations of such an ideal as a differential graded ideal of omega of, of omega um, of, of of the algebra omega. Uh, so this is a situation which is exactly uh, the Hilbert scheme of the algebra omega, okay? It's exactly that. Uh, so uh, ideals, differ differential ideals of this algebra. So this situation was considered in general by Artin and Zhang. Uh, they they uh, worked out a general theory for Hilbert scheme for non-commutative uh, rings. Our ring uh, omega is slightly non-commutative, but you know we can apply. Uh, they, they did it, they, they did uh, a, a much more general theory for any non-commutative ring, but you know the slight non-commutativity is just taken care of by by this theory. So we can talk about the Hilbert Hilbert scheme of omega. Uh, um, except that we also have the the fact that we are considering differential ideals, that's not considered by, uh, by them in, in the direct form, but it can be uh, also included uh, in, in, in their theory. So, so basically we can talk about the Hilbert scheme of uh, omega um, ideals and omega sharp ideals, okay? So the existence of these spaces is, is guaranteed by the results of Artin and Zhang. In all this appears this, um, this quotient, which is, uh, well, an ideal, uh, uh, the, an algebra module of the ideal. This is simply the, the, the RAM complex of, we can think about it in this way, in, in terms of, in language of non-commutative uh, geometry, uh, we can say this is um, the, the RAM complex of, the, of this, uh, sub scheme, non commutative sub scheme defined by this ideal. So, this, co this complex will, will, will show up all the time for us. And it, it, it was considered before or similar complexes in work by Gomez Mont, who also did some work on the formations of uh, foliations. Uh, he talks about uh, something called leaf complex and a work by uh, Bryant and Griffiths, where they they associate a complex like this, but it's not exactly this. They, they have to do some other stuff to this complex. And then the, 
the cohomology of such a construction is what they call the characteristic cohomology. So this was considered before, okay? Uh, so, uh, but, but uh, finally we had to work out directly the, the formation theory of the, these ideas because it, we didn't find it uh, written anywhere. So, so we had to go to the steps, the usual steps of the formation theory, which are not, not very difficult, but just to check that everything goes through uh, correctly. So we did that and the result, um, it will be very similar uh, to the uh, very well-known tangent abstraction theory for Hilbert schemes, but working in this uh, area Lieberman category of differential complexes, which, um, which is what takes the integrality condition into, ac into account, okay? So um, let me define a, a, a few a particular cases of um, graded ideals uh, that we want, we want to consider. An ideal we say is generated in degree one, so it's, it's generated by one forms, is a differential ideal uh, uh, um, generated by the by the degree one component, okay? This means ex uh, equivalently that uh, the graded piece of degree R in our ideal is generated by omega one and by the de derivatives of omega one, okay? So this is um, generated in degree one. Conversely, if, if I have any coherent subshift of omega one, then uh, this formula defines a differential graded ideal generated by um, I1, okay? Usually this uh, I1 will be um, locally free subshift of, of omega one, or sometimes it will be a reflexive um, coherent subshift of, of omega one. But yeah, at, at this stage, you know, it could be any coherent subshift of omega one. Just to write write this down, there is no 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 other condition. Uh, we will say that an ideal is a FAF ideal if it's if it is generated in degree one and the derivative uh, the the derivative of uh, uh, omega one uh, is inside omega one which I one. Okay, so the that's a, that's a usual uh, FAF condition, which I'll write down in a second to remind you. But uh, this condition implies that it, uh, this formula reduces to this one, okay? So uh, this formula means that uh, the ideal is generated as a, as a differential ideal by the, the degree one component because of the presence of this. Whereas this formula, says that the ideal is generated by uh, algebraically by the degree one component. So the derivative part is take, already taken care of by this uh, hypothesis. Okay, and we say that a, a, an ideal is a singular FAF ideal if it, if, if it satisfies these conditions, if it is a FAF ideal on some open dense subset. So this means that this, this condition is true on, on an open set, okay? But not necessarily everywhere. So that's a singular FAF ideal. So the, the singularity set in principle would be the complement of U, okay? In principle. Just to, to, to write this in, in the classical, uh, more classical way, if I have a one forms, and I, de I denote like this, the differential graded ideal generated by them, then uh, it's a FAF ideal one when D omega I, D omega I can be written as linear combinations of omega J, okay? So, and this is basically equivalent to, to the Frobenius condition, Frobenius integrability condition, which is written like this, omega which D omega I, is zero where omega is the product of, of all of them, 
Okay, so but basically what I said before is um, more or less equivalent to, to the classical uh, notions. Okay, so, uh, so go, uh, going to the deformation theory, and then uh, we, can, we can show that the, the um, first order deformations of, um, of, a, of, of a differential ideal are parameterized by this space, home sub, uh, sub omega i omega modulo i. Here is home sub omega. These are morphisms between these, these two um, modules uh, over omega. So they commute with D, okay, these morphisms. So that's, that, that's, those, these are the first order deformations. And we have an abstraction theory. So in the usual way, so for any extension of commutative rings, if I, if, if I have an ideal defined over A, then the deformations, um, the deformations over, uh, of I sub A over B um, is either empty or if it is not empty, is a principal homogeneous space under this group. Okay, so that, that means pseudo torsor. This is a standard terminology for the formation theory. Uh, okay. And also for, for uh, um, the, there is an abstraction map for, for a differential ideal over A, there exists an element. Uh, such that the uh, obstruction of A of, of E, such that it, it is zero if and only if we can extend this deformation over, over B. So uh, the, the summary is that the infinitesimal deformations um, has a tangent obstruction theory given by first order deformations like this and Obstructions like this. Okay, so all this is explained in the in the book by Sarnesi or the book by uh, Harshon or in the F FGA explained. All these all these things are are explained there, and um, it it is a nice ex explain in, in here that uh, when we have a tangent obstruction theory as before, then we have a um, versal family and this versal family is smooth if and only if the obstruction space is uh, zero, okay? So uh, what we need, so this is the basic theory, then what we need is tools for calculating all these uh, um, home and x1, okay, over omega. Uh, our goal is to try to reduce the calculation of our, over omega to a calculation over omega sharp and, and then over O. So basically that would be a goal because we, we are at home when we are over O, we can then impose known conditions on, on coherent shifts for example, if we do it in projective space, we have a lot of vanishings and stuff like that. We can calculate things, okay? So the basic, basic, basic difficulty and the basic work is trying to make making this, these two reductions, okay? So first get rid of the differential. This is the most difficult part. And then uh, this is more multilinear algebra to, um, to reduce from omega sharp to O. Okay. Uh, one tool which is useful for this is the uh, local global uh, exact sequence that comes from local global spectral sequence. Uh, I wrote it here. It, it relates. So, so the the thing is that this exact sequence works in a, in an abelian category, and 
uh, Omega module is an abelian category, so we can we can use it in this context. Okay, for Omega for and for Omega sharp also. Okay, so we have this um, this tool. Okay. Another thing, the one first step in this kind of reduction is the following uh, proposition. Uh, there is a map which, uh, which is called a uh, torsion. I'm not sure, I mean, I, 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 I don't, I'm not sure I understand, you know, exactly the connection or the, or the relation between this torsion and other torsions, but they call it torsion, okay? So there is a map like this, and uh, for any two uh, um, graded modules over omega, uh, so, and with this condition, which is a condition over O, which for us is manageable. So, so if this condition is satisfied, then this map is an isomorphism. So this is very useful because it, 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 it reduces this X1 that we want to compute to something which still has a D, but is a little bit more, more manageable, okay? Okay, so that's the first uh, reduction in the direction uh, that I mentioned before. And when you think when you think about this formula, is is reasonable, right? I mean, it's it's uh, this uh, this home is a complex with with the derivative, so uh, an h one of this complex is an x one. Okay, so it sounds sounds okay, but it's but it's true. So that's the first reduction. Okay, now uh, this section is called calculations. Uh, is, is some calcul calculation which is uh, fairly well known. And I want to write it down in this context. Uh, if my idea is generated by Q uh, one forms, uh, how do I calculate, what it, uh, how do you write down a homomorphism from I into omega modulo I over omega, which is, which is the space of first order deformations as we, as we said before, okay? Well, such a homomorphism is determined basically by what it does to the generators, okay? And, uh, and this eta I sat satisfy this condition here, okay? This means that the space of homomorphisms in which we are interested um, has a map into this space. This, uh, um, these are the, the Q tuples of the eta i's and they satisfy this formula here, okay? It turns out that this map, uh, this, this map here is a, a Onto, onto the collection of forms that satisfy this condition is an isomorphism if omega modulo i is torsion free, okay? Well, the torsion freeness uh, appears here and, and is quite delicate actually, the condition for determining when. Uh, it, it, could be, it could be included in the definition of the ideals that you want to consider. You want to consider ideals such that this is torsion free, but it's not, it's a little bit delicate to, to get conditions that guarantee torsion freeness, okay? Anyway, uh, in, the, in the example in which these omega i's are individually integrable. Individual, the individually integrable means that they satisfy this condition. Then all this condition is written down in this way, simpler way. In the case Q equals one, this condition is this one, which some people already uh, know it. Uh, uh, this is the, the um, this condition here is the, um, what characterizes the first order deformations of an integrable omega are the etas sat, sat, uh, that satisfy this condition. So my comment is that this condition is very explicit and one can say, okay, I, I already know uh, the, the first, first order deformation, but the, uh, the formations of omega, 
but actually that's quite an illusion because it's, it's very simple, but it's not so easy to calculate the dimension of this space, for example, if, for a fixed omega to calculate the dimension of this space uh, in terms of invariance of omega is an interesting problem. And, and it's, not, it's not clear uh, what, what, what could be an answer. So, so this is a first approximation to, to, the, um, to calculating the, the first order deformations, but it's not a complete calculation, okay? All right. The idea of the proof is written here, it's very simple. It's just, it's just the form of the omega i's and you uh, impose the condition that uh, uh, they, they still satisfy the integrability condition, which is this, this one, and, and you expand and you get the condition I wrote before. So the, the proof is of one implication at least is very easy. And the other implication is not, is not too hard. Okay, let me see, how are we going with the time? Uh, 37. Okay, I think I think it's okay. I think it's okay. Any questions so far? Apparently there are no questions. Okay, okay. That's good. Okay. So now let let me let me uh, move to our specific uh, so the, all all before was background. So let me move to the specific results. Okay. So um, what I would what I what I would like what I would like to do is to uh, consider Q ideals, Q uh, differential ideals, and consider its sum. And I want to deform the sum. In uh, I want to calculate the deformations, the deformations of the sum of the ideas, in terms of the deformations of each of the ideas. Okay. A particular case of that would be when um, each of the ideas is generated by uh, one uh, form omega i, and then that means that we will. Um, investigate the deformations of, of a FAF ideal in terms of the deformations of each of the forms generating such a such idea. Okay, but uh, we can do it with uh, a little bit more generality. So uh, in this standard way, which is written here, um, we have a map. A map. So, ah, let me say this. Here uh, by Fj, I will mean an irreducible component of the Hilbert scheme. Okay, so this is an irreduc irreducible component of the space of exterior differential ideas, and and uh, I sub one will be an element of F sub one. I sub Q will be an element of F sub Q. Okay, so I'm fixing various irreducible components of the space. If you think, if you, if you like, you can think about the FI uh, irreducible components of spaces of one forms, for example. For example, this, this could be a logarithmic component, this could be another logarithmic component, and so on, okay? So this is what I, what I want to do. To, to, uh, we will, in, in this way, consider logarithmic FAF ideals. So logarithmic FAF ideal will be um, a FAF ideal generated by logarithmic forms, not necessarily uh, of the same type, OK? So that's the kind of example I have in mind. So from the, from the, from the product of this um, components from this variety, I have a map to, to, a, to again to the Hilbert scheme, taking a collection i1 up to iq of ideals into the sum of these ideals. Okay. Uh, as explained here, this this map, which is very simple, is just summing uh, adding up ideals. Um, it's only a rational map. It's not necessarily regular because these ideals 
um, the sum is not necessarily uh, flat because the ideals at some points could become dependent and so on. So, so, so we have to uh, view it as a rational map, but it's no problem. So what we will do is we'll take the, the closure of the image of this rational map, and that's the new component of the Hilbert scheme that, that we will uh, consider, okay? This is in the next um, page. So, so we will denote like this, I think about it as the, as the well, the, with this notation, we will mean the, the closure of the image of, the, of this rational map, okay? So that means that it is a collection of ideas, which are sum of ideas of j, ij, where ij belongs to fj, okay? Uh, is, there, is, is there any question about this definition? I don't know if it, if, if it was clear enough, the definition. Maybe, maybe this example clarifies a little bit. This is what I said before. Uh, a particular case is a FAF ideal, a FAF ideal uh, uh, generated by omega, um, omega one, omega Q is the same as the sum of the ideal ideals generated by the omega i's. And if we think that each omega i belongs to a, a, a different irreducible component, we have, we have this, this uh, ideal generate this FAF ideal where each omega i belongs to a, a specified irreducible components of the, of, of the space of um, interval one forms, okay? Okay, it's pretty clear that this is an irreducible subvariety of, this, of the um, Hilbert scheme. And our goal is to establish conditions under which this fills out a component, an irreducible component. And it, um, it will be a reduced irreducible component in our situation, okay? So this, this, is, this is the goal. So, so we fix, uh, we fix types of omega one up to omega Q. We put them together to form a FAF ideal. And we want to see if that FAF ideal is stable, okay? Or in other words, it, it, it uh, fills out an, an irreducible component. Okay. Our first uh, result is the following. Well, okay, let's fix Fj, an irreducible component of the Hilbert scheme for J from one up to Q. And as before, for, for elements or ideals that belong to each component, the node I, the sum of these ideals, let's assume that each of these components is reduced, as I already assumed before. Let me assume that each of the components is reduced, and that this natural map is subjective for a general for a general point i j in f j and for all j from one up to q. Okay, so so this is the the natural map induced by the inclusion of i j into i. Okay, the inclusion of ij into i induce a map from omega modulo ij to omega modulo i. That map is um, subjective. And when we take a home with this, so this is the covariant uh, functor, which is uh, that subjective map is still subjective. This is what we are assuming that these maps are surjective. Okay. In these conditions, the derivative of the map mu at a general point is surjective. Uh, by a general lemma that we state in the paper, uh, and we were this lemma was used uh, in previous works also. Um, 
but we make it explicit here, more explicit, let's say, uh, by, by, by the subjectivity of the derivative, it follows that this is an irreducible component of the Hilbert scheme, and it is a reduced irreducible component, okay? So, so this is the general uh, theorem is, is very, is, is very, the, the proof, the proof is not too hard. It's not trivial, but it's not too hard. Uh, the statement I think is very, it's fairly simple, but it took, took us a long time to um, arrive to this uh, simple statement and to, the, to what I think is the right hypothesis to, to guarantee the, the fact that this is a, a irreducible component. Okay, the catch is that this uh, hypothesis involves a home over omega, subjectivity of a home over omega. So the technical, uh, technical uh, difficulty or the technical work to be able to apply this in examples is to uh, get hypothesis to guarantee that this, this hypothesis here is, is satisfied. This hypothesis here is also non-trivial, it's highly non-trivial, trivial. And this one is non-trivial also, but uh, the, um, the work, the, the, the following work will be to be able to uh, guarantee that this, that this map is surjective, okay? It's a home over omega, okay? So uh, next we have a proposition that implies that this condition subjectivity um, is true and well, it's a bunch of conditions which look kind of complicated, but the, the good thing is that there are uh, conditions that involve, as I said before, om omega sharp or involve O. Uh, these two conditions, they look terrible, but in the example are not so bad, actually. In the examples, it's, it's, it's uh, uh, reasonable to check these two conditions in the examples. These two conditions are a little bit uh, harder to check in the examples, I think, but it's still, still possible. There, there are further reductions. I mean, I, I'm not, I don't have time to, to develop this in uh, uh, completely, but uh, this, these uh, conditions are uh, further reduced to other things which are more um, calc uh, computable, okay? But this will give you an idea of the kind of reductions we are, uh, we are making in order to be able to, to apply this theorem, okay? Uh, yes, we are applied mathematicians, okay? Clearly. Um, okay. So one example is, uh, the, the logarithmic uh, FAF ideals that I mentioned before, okay? So we just take uh, omega one up to omega Q um, uh, logarithmic forms of various types, and that will, that will be um, a component, re, uh, uh, irreducible reduced, uh, reduced component of the space of foliations of um, co-dimension Q and degree D, which is the sum of the, the I's. The fact that the, the important fact that um, each of these is generically reduced uh, was proved uh, in, a, in a paper we did with uh, Javier Gargiulo and Cesar Masri. So that a, that's a, um, takes care of, of one of the hypotheses of the theorem, okay, to, to construct this example. Okay. Uh, well, there are there are uh, there are um, many more examples that one can construct. So the same construction where the omega i varies in your favorite uh, irreducible component of the space of uh, one forms, as long as it is um, reduced, and uh, and then the, the other conditions should should be checked. But in principle. That's a way to construct many more um, examples. 
Okay, I, I, let me just take one minute. So this is stability of uh, FAF ideals. Um, with the same techniques, we can consider the problem of uh, stability of pullback ideals. Or let, me, let me just very quickly. Um, so the, the pullback of uh, foliations, the stability of pullback of foliations was proven in some cases by Servo. Eric Soven and Liz Neto and, and other people who work in this problem of stability of um, pullback. You, 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 you have, you have a, a, a form uh, a, which is written in, in, a, in a certain number of variables and you, you increase the number of variables and you want to check that the form uh, remains um, stable when considered uh, on, a, on a greater number of variables, basically. So we can do the same with uh, ideals. And the, the, the basic result is, is this one here. So um, so we have a, a space of maps from x to i we have an ideal over y, and in this way we construct by pulling back an ideal on x. Okay, so the map P takes a function from x to y and an ideal on y, and takes the pullback of i through f, and that gives me an ideal on x. Okay. So we fix a component f of the space of maps and a component D of the space of forms on Y. And, um, and we, we, we have a family uh, of, of ideas on X. If the derivative of this map is surjective, then the closure of the pullback is a generically reduced reducible component, okay? By the same uh, basic result, we apply it in this situation. So the, the work we have to do is to uh, give conditions that imply that the der derivative map is surjective, okay? So that's, uh, the, that subjectivity of the derivative map is a work in progress, okay? The, the basic tool is this theorem, but uh, that's a general mechanism, but the, the subjectivity, uh, uh, um, the hypothesis under which the, subject, the derivative is subjective, uh, uh, we are um, working on, on these conditions, okay? So only that, uh, just to say that the, the, the derivative can be ca calculated as a Lie, Lie derivative plus a pullback, okay? So the, the derivative of this map um, has this um, specific, uh, shape. Okay, so that's uh, well. Anyway, the pullbacks is a uh, work in progress, and that's that's all I I, I have planned to say. So thank you. Thank you. So do we have any questions for Fernando? While we see someone has a question, I think that there was a great exposition. I liked it a lot, but now I'm, I'm looking forward to reading your paper. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, me too. <laughs> you, <laughs> probably you more than me. Okay, do we have any question for Fernando? Okay, otherwise we'll read the paper and then ask the questions later, probably. Okay. So good luck with what is missing. And I think we. Can All right. Thank you. Okay. Good. Thank you. Thank you, Fernando. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for the invitation. Very nice. Thank you. Yeah. Was very clear. I, I hope to see you all guys uh, pretty soon, some somewhere in in person. Okay. Yeah. With a glass of wine. <laughs> 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 Ragni thanking you, Fernando. Eh? 
Ragni, thanking you on the chat. Ah, on the chat. Let me see the chat. What is the chat? Ah, okay. Uh, just a second. I, ah, okay, okay. What is the chat? It's down. In the down menu, there's a menu. At, at the yeah, but uh, I the see some. Uh, uh, let me just. You can stop sharing. Ah, yeah, that's why I don't see the chat apparently. Yeah, yeah. you can stop sharing. Yeah, you stop, stop, stop sharing. Stop, sh stop sharing. Ah, okay, okay. Thank you. Thank you, Ragni. <laughs> Thank, thanks for coming. <laughs> You're welcome. Thanks for a very nice talk. Yeah. Okay, thank you. You heard this talk already in the Israel. Uh, yeah. In the yeah, but it's yeah. a long time ago. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, I will stop the recording and then we can say bye bye. Ah, I see. Okay, okay. Ah, we will record. Well, we didn't say anything inconvenient. I don't think.